guys, welcome back to my channel, Adventures of Science. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's Shark Week. Happy Shark Week, everybody. To celebrate, I will be wearing my shark socks. I've had a couple opportunities in my life to be close with sharks, but I'm gonna let you know about the time that I went shark tagging with the University of Miami. Now I went back in March 2017 and I went on what they call a citizen science expedition. It's something that you guys can actually sign up for yourself and I highly, highly recommend it. There was about 20 other citizen scientists on board. Now one of the first things that we were able to help out with is releasing the drum line, which is how you catch the sharks. So you're able to throw it off the end of the boat, help them lower in the weight and send the rest of it out and hopefully catch a shark. After 10 lines are dropped, they actually have an hour of soak time. The citizen scientists are there to help. We actually did more hands-on work than I thought we were going to. There's a couple different opportunities to get to help out with. These include doing a nictating... I've been told it is a nictating membrane test. Something that I didn't know until now. Words are hard. Membrane test in which salt water is brought up out of a syringe and is actually squirted into the shark's eye. If this nictating membrane fires, it actually tells you that the shark is doing okay. They'll do this test at the very beginning and the very end of the shark's procedure in order to determine how the stress levels are in the animal. The second thing that a volunteer can help out with is actually doing body measurements. So they have a long tape measure and they'll measure three different lengths of the body. Third, there is an opportunity for a volunteer to take a tiny, thin sample, but it gives a lot of information on the genetics, the diet, and the toxins that might be found in the shark. Now, the last thing and the thing that I was actually able to do as a volunteer was to insert a spaghetti tag to tag the shark. With a little pressure, I was able to um, inject it under the skin, and this spaghetti tag gives an identification number which tells you who the shark is and also has the phone number of the research center because in case the shark is ever recaptured, you can have information on possible size or location of the animal later in life. Now, I was actually able to tag a black nose shark. It was a female shark um, and I actually was able to also keep her hook. This is super exciting for me. I've never been able to do this obviously. Who tags sharks and gets to keep their hook? But it's crazy to think that this hook was in her mouth and now she's swimming around the ocean with a tag that's in her back that I tagged her with. It's just completely amazing, uh, full circle, and I'm just so, so thankful for this experience. Now on the trip I went on, we actually tagged and released eight sharks that day. We had two black tips, two black noses, three nurse sharks, and one great hammerhead. Now we were fortunate enough on my trip to be able to uh, tag and release a great hammerhead. It was a juvenile and it was a female, which is super exciting and I know the other people on the boat were jumping and screaming and the researchers were saying how lucky we were uh, because the species is endangered. And to find a juvenile who is also a female is a really good indication for the environment. And she's very important uh, to collect data from. So luckily enough, they were able to uh, attach an acoustic tag to her. Very happy to say that I checked in and they are receiving information from her acoustic tag. Um, so that's very exciting stuff. Now I just wanna take this time to thank the University of Miami and the shark research team. You involve the public. You get little kids and even big kids and adults excited about science by giving them hands-on experience with sharks. That is amazing. It's something that I will remember for the rest of my life. I highly recommend if anyone has the ability to do it, 110% do it. I hope to try it again. It was an amazing time and something that I will be talking about until I am 90 years old. <laughs> Happy Shark Week, everyone. Remember, bringing bananas on a boat is bad luck. <laughs> nictitating. The nictitating. Yeah, but you know I can't speak English. 